This is season two, episode 15 of my modular journey. And today we're going to take a look at the Chaos Devices Zagreb module. Zagreb is an all analog stereo four pole state variable filter with five frequency responses, three of them available all at once. There's a high pass 24, there's a low pass 24, and then there's a band pass in the middle with three different settings here. I don't know if you can see that. Three different settings here. There's an, a high 18, low 6, a high 12, low 12, and a high 6, low 18. And on this little toggle switch right here. Love Chaos Devices devices. Uh, they're just beautifully designed. Yeah, everything about them is just really put together well. Continuing down the feature list, it's got uh, no low frequency dropout at high resonance. Uh, mono to stereo, so you can plug in just a left mono here and it will turn it into stereo. Uh, and then there's this voltage controlled spread. Uh, so that way you can, you can uh, do all kinds of fun stuff with it. I've had this since around January 30th. It came in in that same batch. It was a $300 filter. And unlike some of the other things that I poo-pooed about their prices, I will say Chaos Devices are worth every penny you pay for them. So why did I choose the Zagreb Stereo 4-Pole Filter? And as I mentioned at the beginning of this season, uh, it was mostly going to be about filtering this year because I, last year I did a lot of uh, oscillators and, and VCAs and things like that, uh, LFOs. Uh, this year I wanted to get into some filtering, so I picked up a few of these uh, different filter types. And so far, every one of them has been amazing. And as I mentioned, I love Chaos Devices. So, so far, not one of these Chaos Devices has disappointed me. Uh, and in fact, in most cases, they are so unique that, that they have become a favorite of mine in the rack, and I use them in almost every single patch. For how I plan to use it, uh, of course, it's a filter, but it's a little bit more than just a filter. Like, it's not just uh, resonance here and cutoff here. Uh, it also has, like the Popple demo I did a couple of videos back, uh, Popple right here where it has these, these left and right attenuators and CV points for, for being able to affect stereo parts of the filter. So does Zagrazeb. So it, it has an FM1 and 2 and a spread option. So if these three things are CV'd, there's movement in the stereo filters, which makes it sound so fantastic. And of course, self-patching. Once I learned that you could take one of the band passes out and stick it into something else to create a little feedback loop and the sounds that are generated when that happens, uh, I learned that on Popple first. I'm going to have to go back to my cinnamons and see if I could do that there. But it's just amazing. So uh, a lot of really cool stuff here. Uh, I guess I'll let me get it in the rack and fire it up and listen to it. I think to start with, I'll pull in a stereo sound. This is coming out of my quad precision oscillator over here, the one I'm using in this demo rack for all these videos. And then I'm going to come out of the high pass first. Oh my goodness, almost knocked my tray over. All right, so now I have two oscillators coming in to the Zagreb and then uh, left and right coming out to the VCA over here. And so this is a high pass filter. I have cut off all the way up. But that's, listen to how it sounds. Let me kill the reverb. That sounds, that sounds really smooth. If I jump down to low pass now, and I'm raising it from nothing. Sounds pretty cool. Let's bring up some resonance here. What happens if I go back to high pass with that much? with that much resonance. Let's take a listen. Watch your ears, this might get, might get loud. All 
right, so uh, let's let's go check out the band pass. So this band pass was the interesting one here because unlike other filters that give me one band pass, this one's giving me three, three different types of band pass. So let's listen to what these sound like. So this is the high 18 and low six. I'll put a photo from the manual in, right, right here. Switch it to the H12, L12. There's still stuff hanging out here at the top. That's nice. And then the final one is the H6L18. And of course that was all with max resonance. Moving along into uh, other stuff. Uh, I'm going to wire up some uh, CV gates here to make some noise. Let's, let's see if I can make some noise. If I remember how I was how I was going to do this. So real quick before I do that, let me mess with some sample and hold. This is a sample and hold into FM1 and a slew into FM2 <laughs> just to see what it's going to do. I add a little reverb back in. <laughs> you know, if if you're not making your your Euro rack fart, you're not doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me kick the kick in my clock here. And now let me tighten up my envelopes a little. So I don't see a CV point over resonance. But I do see this spread is supposed to be over, over cutoff here. So let's try that out. I'm gonna switch it to back to low pass. So this is the thing I just I, I was doing with Popple was I was taking one of the band passes and just shoving it back into into FM or cut off or something just to see what happened. So let's see what happens. three different band pass settings so let's try them out insane. 
I, I just found out that endorphins Milky Way switched itself back into center mode for some reason through the power off, so I wasn't actually getting the stereo effect that I was hoping for. But now you can kind of hear what's going on here. Let me unpatch this self-patching. can kind of hear the filters moving back and forth through the ears. That's what I was trying to get with by modulating spread. Let me take something a little bit more even like a LFO. So now you'll hear it going from ear to ear. Another sample and hold here. Speed up the LFO a little. Bring up the resonance, get some of that growl back in. smokes. I'm telling you, every time I get into one of these advanced filters, I literally could sit here for, for days listening to the noises that come out of it with the self-patching and the uh, modulation sources and just twisting the big knobs, twisting, twisting the knobs and so flipping the levers and riding that resonance. Oh my goodness. Yep. Love it. Absolutely love it. So this is, <laughs> this is, hmm. Definitely a fanboy. Thank you, Chaos Devices. Keep them coming. Oh my goodness. So that is it for episode 15 of season two of my modular journey. Chaos Devices, Zagrezeb. Zagreb. Uh, coming up next, ooh, another filter. Well, I got the Geranalog Filter 8. So stay tuned for that.